So, all right, guys, now we're going to do a pretty interesting test. We're going to compare the Fusion 1800 KV uh, with each other in different vehicles, Axial versus Traxxas, and then we're also going to compare, compare it to the Pro that's in the TRX-6. So, but before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and announce who wins this Dino RC winch line. We'll get that out the way because I'll probably forget before the end of the video. And well, I guess if you're bored with what I'm doing, you can get your winch line and go or something. I don't know. Hopefully, you stick around and watch the rest of this uh, boring video. So, anyway, first, um, let me see. We had a lot of good guesses on this winch line. And. One of them, the winner, was actually 15 cents off. That's it. So that was a really good guess. The second place, because it was the closest without going over. We had a lot of people that were close, but they went over. So they still would not have beat it within the 15 cent of the winner. But second place was about, let's see three dollars and fifteen cent off so there was a good distance on under so anyway let's just whip it out here uh the winner is with thirty one dollars and i'm going to show you the receipt up here in the corner in a second but oregon motorcycle he guessed thirty one dollars and let me show you right in the corner there's the receipt uh it was thirty one dollars and fifteen cents it would have only, <clears throat> excuse me, it would have only been like 20 something dollars, but because I had batteries in the box and told her they were in the box, it was a hazard fee also. <laughs> so anyway, then my buddy, Mr. Eddie with Crazy Build 349, he, uh, he's the one that's been doing some of my 3D printing lately and all that. He come in second place with $28. So if... Oregon Motorcycle don't collect it up within the week. Then it'll go to Crazy Build 349, Mr. Eddie. So, anyway, that was just something something to do. I don't know. I've had this on my wall long enough. You get a sticker with it as well. So, and this ain't just any old sticker. Look at that light. You see that light changing it? Like when we were kids, remember that? See how that light changes it? Ooh, ooh, you see that? So anyway, now that that's done and over with, let me know in the comments if you see this video, if you're the winner, I need an address and all that anyway, so hopefully you see this. If not, Mr. Eddie, I know where you're at. I know you're, um, I might, yeah, I should have your address probably too, but anyway. So, so alright guys, now here's the test. We've already got it set up almost. We got, we're putting a 3S battery in each truck. They both have the 1800 KV. They are both TRX4s. Um, and I'm pretty sure these both have the same gear. It's basically just, I don't know, which motor is tuned better than the other or something. Well, all right. I guess I forgot to hit record the first time I started to do this. So, so now what I got to do is I get the first one just barely rolling and get the other one rolling but caught up to see which one to go faster. Um, let's see. Just a hair. Oop. Stop. Right there. As slow as possible. And go. Slow as possible. So now what I'm gonna do is get the high truck caught up to it and then and then stop it right there. Alright. Pretty much oop right there. I got them both moving. I got the high trail is behind the bug a little bit to start with, so we're just gonna keep it at that. And well, it seems like the high truck's catching up to it a little bit, maybe. It's hard to tell. Let me make sure the steering is on. 
It's a snail's race, ain't it? Just turn that steering back that way. Now, actually, the bug is is going faster. Let me stop the bug for one second. Yeah. That's my two slowest, and I think they're basically the same. They should be the same. I'm basically running the same trucks other than a lifted one. And that is the 3S battery, remember. So, it's not bad at all. Do you guys think that the axial, straight axle CJ7 can go as slow as the portals? That's the whole test here that we're really looking at. So, all right. Now, I figure they were both pretty much dead on. I was going to put the slowest one against this rig just because it would be the slowest. But since they were basically the exact same speed, the bug was no different. We're going to do the high trail versus the Jeep now. Where's your money at? We got a straight axle rig uh, versus a portal rig. You would think that would tell you something already. I don't think that's going to be the case. The reason I'm doing this test is to find out myself because for some reason I think that Jeep might be slower with a straight axle and that that's kind of weird but I think that might be the case this time. I do know these put themselves in second gear first every time so you do have to uh, switch it to first gear yourself if you're running the two-speed transmission. So, all right, now the Jeep is sitting back further. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it first. That way I make sure I get it the right direction and uh, start dialing it in. And once I get it up to the line where the other is, we'll, we'll go at the same speed. We'll go ahead and put them both the same. Matter of fact, I think, let's see. I, come on. Get it dialed in. There we go. I think that's my slowest on that one. We'll go ahead and put this one on slowest. Well, I got to set my cruise. Forgot. There we go. Right there. No. Right there. No. Right there. My absolute slowest versus my absolute slowest. Let's get that steering dialed in soon here. Oh, other way. There we go. Well, that's a no. I'll be damned, man. Look at this. I'll show you guys that I'm not playing here. This is my traction controller. I'm going to try to slow it down some. It stops. As soon as I slow it down, it stops. I'll let the other one catch up. Look how slow that thing's going. And that's a straight axle on the same motor. I just. It's hard. Oh, you know what? I don't even think I put that in first gear yet. I didn't. There's no way that's in second gear doing that. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second now. All right, let me stop it for a second. No. Sure as shit that was in second gear. Oh shit. Wow. Now that's it was it was going slower in second gear than my high trial. That is crazy. Did not expect that. So all right, let's see. How slow can we get it to go? Am I I'm on the steering or something now? What the hell? There we go. Come on. There we go. I guess it's moving, I can't tell. The headlights are in my face, I can't see it was moving. Right there it is. All right, now. I'm gonna let it catch up for a minute. Because I know the high trail is gonna go faster. That is just insane. There's my slowest on the high trail. 
That the I think that the 2S battery in the Hytro was faster than that. There we go. That is my absolute slowest in the high trail. And that's fucking pretty impressive, excuse my language. But it almost seems like the other truck has stopped when you compare them. I'm trying to get this where you can actually see what's going on here. All right, here we go. It looks like the Jeep is not moving. That's how much faster this one's going. Oh, it's absolutely moving now. That's crazy. You know what? I, I bet if I put a 2S battery in here, that one will still go slower. Do you think that this Jeep is going to be slower than my Fusion Pro? That's the question right there. I'm blown away right now, aren't you guys? So now, I got an idea. Now, I'm going to show you guys again. I'm going to try to slow this down even more. As soon as I back this off, it's going to stop. See? The, the second I turn it, watch, watch. Let me try. A little bit, a little bit, little, right there. See? That is absolutely my slowest. Wow, that's just crazy. That's pretty impressive still. But to actually get out crawled by a straight axle rig, that is pretty surprising. Good job on the gearing with that axial, I'll tell you that. I honestly don't even think that the uh, 2S would go that slow. Look at it. So all right, now I'm gonna put the Pro battery in the high, uh, ah. We're gonna put the battery in the TRX-6. And we're going to see if the Pro can keep up with that 1800 in there. That's just crazy. Okay, guys. Now, here is the real test. Can the axial, uh, straight axle rig with the Fusion SE 1800KV go as slow as the Fusion Pro 2300KV? in the hauler now i'm gonna tell you now i already know they're both very slow we just seen that the straight axle rig went slower than the high trail which already blowed my mind good job on their gearing in that transmission i'll give that to axial so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and get the jeep going let's see let me try to get it going as slow as i can um i'm gonna all right, let's see, come on, come on, stop, let's go again, there we go, that's pretty damn slow, so now, while it's crawling, let's come down here while it's crawling, because it's going slow enough, I got the cruise set on the high trail, all I have to do is adjust it, I'm going to let the wheels get to about the same spot, let's see, let's make sure I got it, yeah, okay, we're going to let the wheels hit the same spot, and then I'm going to try to get the slowest crawl I can going with the Pro. Because look at that. I cannot believe this Jeep is doing that. Could you imagine? If you put the Pro in this Jeep, it would be like not moving at all. All right, there we go. Whew, that's crazy. They're both going as slow as possible, and I'm going to say that the pro is still winning but for this thing here to be i don't know man they're they're they're, they're about neck and neck ain't they i'm not gonna be able to tell until they get all the way down at the end of this thing to see which one gets to the end first because they're right at each other i'm blown away right now who would have ever thought that a straight axle rig with the Fusion SE would keep up with the Fusion Pro on the slow crawl. You know what we got to do though? We got to put something in front of each one of these to crawl over the tires or something. They're going to need a test. Shoot. Hmm. 
Will they continue over an obstacle at that slow speed? Let's find out. Since we do have this up here, here's what we're going to do. That's all we're going to do is put that right there. Let's find out. If anything happens when it gets to them. Shit, I could run and use the bathroom before we even get to it, though. Well, I can already see that the Fusion Pro is slower. They were neck and neck a few minutes ago, and now the Pro is starting to, to lag behind. Okay, here's the test. Oops. Will they continue over? FOC technology on the Jeep is doing its job. Wow, that's amazing. I knew the Pro was going to outdo it, but not by much, I'm going to tell you now. FOC technology, both rigs, doing its job. That is sweet. Sorry for the bad lighting and everything in here. I know it's, I don't know why it's going crazy like that. It must be the television. So anyway, the room's a mess. That is insane. I'm just happy. So now, let's see the slop coming down the hill there. Let's see if the, let's see if the hauler rolls forward like the Jeep just did when it hits the cliff. I hear that motor doing some weird, that servo, ain't it? Yeah, servo. Will it jump forward? Nope. No slop in the transmission, it just walked right down it. That damn servo is loud, you hear that? So anyway, I got plenty of time to finish this video. Let's let the back tire dig, I guess. Oops. I guess it's the headlights on the rigs that are probably messing with it, but... So, all right, guys, you've seen it with your own eyes. We got a straight axle rig that just outperformed the TRX4 on slow crawl with the same exact motor. So, if it wasn't for the Fusion Pro and the hauler, it would lose too, obviously. The back tires ain't even got to the rock yet on the hauler. Jesus, wheeze, man. So, all right, let me pick up the pace with the hauler to see... About the same speed that the other one's going. There we go, right there, I think. It's actually a little faster now, but yeah, because it's going to pass it. Let's see. Slow it back down right there. That's about the same speed on each of them. I'm impressed. So, anyway. What was it? Oregon Motorcycle? Don't forget to leave a comment if you want your winch line. Congratulations. And that was a good guess. 15 cent off. That was it, buddy. So, let me go ahead and shut these on down. That is just amazing you can sit here and do that so slow. So now, 